Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars Vintage Collection figure review. We've got Din Djarin on Morak in his, uh, the, the armor disguise, like, <laughs> tank driver disguise, VC-251. Can't believe we're at 250 already. I'm just pumping them out. So yeah, there, there's a, uh, Migs Mayfeld coming out as well, which some people have already been, been able to pick up. Um, this one is nice though, I was, thanks to Angel Grove Collectibles for this one. We've got them in, sent it out, really nicely packaged as always. And yeah, really nice, really nice card art there of, of Pedro. And uh, the sculpt of the figure looks quite good too. So I'm looking forward to the Migs. And I think we're getting this one in Black Series too, of course. you gotta got to do them both. It's only fair. Although I feel like Vintage Collection does get sort of short-shrifted sometimes, but that's all right. It all sort of balances out for me anyway. But yeah, we're going to rip this straight into this one and have a good look. All the rubbish. All right, so I'm just going to pop out his... Blaster rifle plus a pistol, which is you know one of the Tie Fighter pistols that they've been using for years. Um, full helmet out. So it is a hollow helmet. And it's not a uh, separate separate piece like some of the other helmets have been in the vintage collection recently. Um, you know, there's there's been some figures where they've opted for the for the swap out head, which I'm personally an advocate for. I think that's the better option. Um, but I mean, this one is, you know, it's probably one I'm not going to to use with the helmet because this is a really nice head sculpt. And I actually prefer this much more to the other Din Djarin that they did with the uh, deluxe pack with Grogu a couple of years ago. Articulation's good. Yeah, really nice, really nice sculpt of the head there. I think that looks fantastic. Feels good. Does have a little holster there for the for the blaster pistol. It slots in nicely. Yeah, I really like the uh, the fact that they repurposed this armor from uh, Rogue One and a bit of Solo as well. I think. Yeah, it all sort of blends together as all part of the Empire now. <laughs> the uh, helmet fits on nicely. That looks good. That's a nice, nice snug fit. It's not, not any trouble. Looks nice. Um, yeah, now if Hasbro could just give us the turbo tank, that'd be fantastic. Or the Imperial dude. I can't think of his name off the top of my head. The one they sit and have a drink with. And talk about uh, Operation Cinder, one of my favourite moments from The Mandalorian Season 2. Um, fantastic episode. Yeah, this is going to be a nice nice head to sort of swap out with a man, with a, the, with his proper Mandalorian costume. I think they look fantastic. Yeah, I hope they use the head sculpt again because it's a uh, it's a good one. It's really really good. Again, the weathering detail on the on the armor looks nice. Really well done, sculpted beautifully. Nice articulation. Yeah, very much. Sort of, I don't know. I just I, I find it hard to pick out the armors now. <laughs> some of it's like shore trooper. Some of it's tank driver. Some of it's. Oh, it's, it's, remember back when I was a boy, back when I was a boy, we only had two, three different stormtroopers. We had stormtroopers, scout troopers, snow troopers, sand troopers, that was it. Now we've got range troopers and mountain troopers and tank drivers and, yeah. Forgive me for getting it wrong. <laughs> but yeah, nice paint on the helmet as well. A little bit of weathering, like the red band on the arm. A little bit of sort of dirty stuff on the on the boots there. I'd actually love to see some of the uh, the other guys, the the sort of the pirates. You know, they weren't the bad guys. They were the antagonists for Migs and Din in this episode. But they're 
you know, they weren't necessarily the bad guys. So yeah, another really, really nice figure from Hasbro here. Uh, it's a uh, vintage collection's been winning out big time recently. And uh, yeah, this is certainly a nice addition. Definitely looking forward to the MIGs because I think the uh, head sculpt on the vintage collection one is actually better than the black series from what I've seen. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed checking this one out. I've enjoyed showing you a really another really nice addition to the line. Again, this was VC251. Again, hard, really hard to believe we're that far in to the vintage collection. It's It's crazy. But I will leave you with it. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. And, uh, and stay tuned for more Star Wars action figure reviews coming right up on this channel. May the Force be with you, always.